Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Cups Cast, sponsored by Ten to One Rum, Black Owned. You know what I mean? Sport is free. We out here making it work. It's been a minute. How you guys feeling? Live from Cloud Nine Studios. That's a fact. Feeling good. Happy to be out in the sun again. Game night's back. Oh yes. yeah. Biggest game night in the world. Back. We just we just had a, a glorious game night the other weekend. Shout out to that. Yes, 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 Clap yes. Up, yes. As we as we do. <laughs> So uh, well, <laughs> yeah, he was manly, right? But <laughs> really good. But um, yeah, man. Um, the next one is June twenty sixth. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. Actually, tickets are up. So if you are trying to come and you're in the tri-state area, find your way. Pull up. Yeah, you know I mean, meet me at the Uno table. You come to one, you're coming to the next one. Yeah, that's how it goes. So I got a question for y'all before we start out with some dominoes. Mm. Mm. I've been seeing on social media lately uh, this trend of women proposing to men. Okay. Um, I want to know y'all thoughts on it because me personally, I'm with it. I love it. But why does social media look down on it? You want to go ahead? Nah, you look like you was about to say something. I so wasn't about I, to say anything. I was waiting for y'all <coughs> to answer. I'm with it too. <laughs> I, I I just think that the rarity of it because you gotta understand some women like submitting when they feel like it's absolutely on their terms right so now for something like that getting on one knee that's like the ultimate level of submission in their mind because they're expecting us to do it now i applaud the women that actually do it because they're on some type of time where it's just like yo i want you and I'm here to prove it. Not necessarily saying that I believe that all women should start doing it, but like, yo, if you really fuck with your guy like that, I mean, you gotta make sure he's willing to get married, first of all. And I'm gonna be honest with you, because it's something that's so new and fresh, I wouldn't do it in a public setting. I would do that like one-on-one type shit. Nah, because I need the I need the audience. Nah, I don't know, bro. Such a thought, I, bro. <laughs> I need the audience. <laughs> I feel I, I feel like for me because like let me ask you a question would you do it in private or would you do it in public I would do both but I feel like I would do uh public because private seems a little bit more expensive no you gotta do which one would you do <laughs> which one you do first the public or the private one so wait, yeah, yeah, you're talking about answer. reenacting a proposal? No, let him answer. No, he let said he's answer. gonna do one private. He said and he's then one, one public. So, so I'm two asking proposals. You, so yes. So you're talking about reenacting a proposal? No, you no, didn't no, let him yeah, answer. Yeah, I get what he's saying. Like, because basically you gotta reenact the emotions of the the whatever first one oh, you no, did. No, you gotta see, do it I again. It, but if I do the public one, I wouldn't have to do the private one. See, I took it as something else. I took it as like he might ask in passing, like, "Yo, you wanna get married?" I wouldn't then, ask then like that. I would gauge the situation on some like, you know, like, how do you feel about getting married at this point in your life? Like, do you think that that's something that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just going to dive head first into, oh, my God, I love her. Let me just. No, it, there's a question at hand is, will you marry me? Right. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the yeah. question. That's mm-hmm. what makes it a proposal. Will mm-hmm. you marry me? Right. And a person obviously it's not right now because there's an engagement process. Mm-hmm. Because if it was right now, you do it the next day. Yeah. Right. Double exposed. Now, you, what, what I'm asking is like, yo, are you talking about asking the question again now for people to see her say yes or I, for I, you to say I'm yes? I'm be honest. I think that's relative to the situation because some women don't like big crowds and stuff like that. But in a way, they might not have an idea as to how they would introduce it to their parents. Like, it's different from saying like, oh, I didn't have no idea that he was going to do this versus, hey... I'm I'm engaged, you know. It's a different pr- presentation, so I, I I feel like that's relative to who you're 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 dating. I think you supposed to ask the pops first anyway. Yo, I you, mean, they, I, I I I honestly don't know when that happens. I know you're supposed to get some type of blessing, but I think that's after the engagement. I don't know. Yeah, that's oh, when that's when that's course. when you're buying her from yeah. her family. Buying. Oh, her. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the traditional well, yeah, that's, way. Yeah. These are not the views of Kareem. <laughs> No, he's giving you this. No, that's what it is. You go, you go to the father because he, the women are the property of the men. That's how that's how this institution is set on. That's what it's based on. Right, right. Um, 
Now you go to the father, you ask the father for permission, and you say, I'm going to give you three goats, or I'm going to give you a sack of gold. It's called a dowry goats. now, right? <laughs> nah, that's what it's called. It's called nah, a dowry. I'm, 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 I'm and you, you give the family money, and you take the, and you, you, you take the, the daughter. But you have to be able to show that you can take care of this woman, and yeah. that's really what that's really goats. what it is. And I think I think I got three goats. You feel me? I had a I had I a spare two of them. Like you feel me? Like I had a question that I felt like I wanted to present to you guys. But, I, but I'll wait till the question. Yeah, later. I'd like yeah. to answer the question though. Yeah. yeah, I feel like all women propose. Now the thing is, how he just said about one in private and one in public. Yeah, all women propose. They do it in private. Right, but they how does it end up on camera? Because now you turn around in response to her and give her the proposal that she wants to see. So now what you're doing now, when the women are proposing, those women I applaud them for putting their ego aside. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Because that's really what the whole thing is about. A woman will let you know she wants you to marry her. Goes yes. back to the submission I want part you, that I said. I yes. want you to ask. To, why are we not moving forward in this relationship? These are all the questions are, are you going to marry but, me? Yeah. But, She's but, asking you these questions on, long on, before you on. go and buy a ring. Hold on. I got to bring up something. Um, y'all familiar with Miguel, correct? Yes, the singer. He was dating someone for, I believe, like 10, years. From, uh, ten years, right? Mm -hmm. Before he finally asked her to marry. He, he should have uh, took some time. Some... <laughs> Even <laughs> some women have a, a clock in their head like saying listen after four or five years like what are we doing but she tells you that right some some women do some women so, do so you would know that you were working on a time uh, on a time slot there's a deadline I, I'm different I can't no, no I'm just asking when she tells you yes yo, in a sense yes. you're working on a deadline because right? in her mind she's saying like yo because either give me a child so or, you, or what, a marriage what, so you are under the understanding under the understanding right when you're in the relationship or in the situation with her right what happens at the, this has an expiration and the expiration should be come at a certain time and when that comes it's supposed to be marriage right yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's the proposal she gave it to you from the beginning she told you I'm not willing to be in a five year six year relationship that didn't end up in marriage by then mm -hmm. that was the proposal she gave it to you now you didn't even go and buy a ring yet but now once you're dealing with her you've accepted her proposal that was the terms of the offer <laughs> How do you feel? That's well, well, my girl's not um, getting on one knee in public and doing all that. Why not? Nah, it's not for me. Like she can ask me. She can ask me like, like literally, like everything besides the one knee part. Like, I'm good. Parallel. Would okay. You, no, no, would no, you get on one knee? Uh, Parallel. On. Just would you get on one knee? I don't really care for it either. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. you just don't see the one knee thing. Yeah, the one knee thing is kind of just, it's just barbaric. Can I ask like, a, but, a, but my a, thing a, is they on their knees anyway doing other stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, that's so that's fine. <laughs> that's more barbaric. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> he has it, right? a point. He has a point. If she's doing it, right? But let me ask you this. Um, I know it's my turn. How do you uh, accept submission? Like, how do you, like, what, like, what would be your like? Cause to me, I feel like if she getting on one knee to me, that's like the ultimate level of submission outside of sex. Like that mean you here for me, you willing to like the the proposal itself. I don't know about anything beyond that, but like, how do you accept now somebody saying I want you? Does it matter to you if they want you or like? It absolutely does matter. No, because somebody cause cause a, a, a five could want you, but do you want them? That's not. I'm saying if you're gonna accept someone's marriage and you're con even considering being married to someone, right? Or even even before you got there, you're in a relationship with this person, right? They didn't just propose to you out the uh, like somebody didn't walk up to you and just propose. But to some you. people look at someone relationship a, as the last step. But look, there's someone you've been in a relationship with, right? Right. So it doesn't matter to you that if the people in that you have relationships with want relationships with you. That doesn't matter to you. I believe that before that relationship word gets dropped, there's a conversation as to what, you know, the eventual road may be to what we're doing is. Some people will try to avoid it. Other people are more mature in the aspect of saying, like, it's on me. Mm -hmm. Some people are more um, mature in the aspect of saying, like, yo, this is what it is, da-da-da, whatever, whatever. But what I'm saying is there is a conversation that happens before, you know, things even get started, subconsciously or not. Like, you kind of gauge, like, where this person is at when you're dealing with them. 
I could be wrong, but my situations are usually like I can tell what this person expects from me, and I know what to give from that person, so there won't be any misunderstanding. So, whose turn is it? Your turn. I got five blanks. <laughs> he had the last five. Yeah. He gave me that. He gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the ones that I was looking for, but overall, I'm I I just think that you know. I would like for women to start doing it because let's be honest, men are the prize. So I feel like Preach, good brother. I feel like, you know, I would want to know that this woman is saying, yo, I only want to give my pussy to you for life. Preach. You know what I'm saying? That that like to to call it what it is, like that's pretty much what it is. Like I'm I plan on only being with you intimately for the rest of my life. But she's doing that like the entire time. Right. But marriage isn't something that physically benefits us like we have to like think about it are men really excited to get married yes in the grand scheme of things but the actual wedding itself the process in itself putting the work in and stuff like that most the majority of us for huh who's that stuff for for the woman that's what i'm saying like that's why that for me if you come to me and saying hey i want to do this with you it's like being asked to the prom did you ask to be to go to the prom no i didn't go to prom yeah me i didn't i didn't care for it i got asked to go to prom i went to prom you did you get did you ask? Well, my girlfriend had the prom, so oh, I actually got asked. So, well, I only went to my junior high school prom. I didn't go to my high school prom. I don't think we had one, did we? Oh, you talking about junior high school? Yeah, junior high school. I got asked about plenty. Well, a prom, mm. you know, a I prom. <laughs> I was the man back then. Man but it's, back but then. it's the same concept when it comes to high school. I got back. But think about it. It's the same concept in life. That's why I, I appreciate school so much because it prepares you for the same principles that life uh, presents to you in a later time. Not the whole thing, but. It does, but. <laughs> but now you got even more time. Biden's saying 16. 16 what? Grade 16. Yeah, he's trying to push um, high school. What's a formally. grade? What? He's trying to push it formally. That's great. That's actually great. What? That's actually great. Shit. Even high school at 22? <laughs> You won't be in high school anymore. It it so the grade school would be considered college. You'd have college level equivalency. Oh, okay. but you would still have to go to college after the sixteenth grade. That's on society and what? <laughs> no, no, no. That's really on society and how much they actually value the institution of colleges. Yeah, yeah. Nah, because I'm now that's it. a whole other thing. That's like a that's like a whole like political like. You know, I think that opens up thing. a lot of can of worms, though. I yeah, mean, you don't yeah, want to get into it now, yeah, but it's just like yeah, that's yeah. A whole dating thing. a girl that you were six. But <laughs> six grade, women, six yeah, think, think about it. You're gonna be dating girls. At, you're gonna be in 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 the school well over twenty, well over twenty one. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna open. Uh, up it's up not gonna, gonna be separated. You're gonna be twenty two. It has to be. Yeah. Of course, you can't have adults. And, but that's what I'm saying. Now you're you're talking about free college. That's really what they're talking yeah. about. Yeah. They yeah, have to do a lot of uh, student relief loans. Back to the topic, bro. The the woman spends the entire time, especially even once y'all engage in a quote unquote girlfriend and boyfriend relationship. First yeah. off, that is pre marriage. I I don't care what y'all think it is in your heads. It is. I but agree. It's pre marriage. You're with this person. You're monogamous. Bro, you're watch, watch quote unquote <laughs> monogamous to this actual person and only this person for the entire time that you're together. Yeah, but if you cheat, it's not considered against the law. True. Really I mean not. that too, but that's that's where the business aspect comes into it. True. I think. But I think women, women don't consider marriage a business. So let me ask you a question. Uh, you, since you don't really care for marriage or getting on the one lean, sorry. Either way, what do you think about someone like Chrissy, like years ago, that proposed? To oh, she a dickhead. Oh man. Really? She's a dickhead. I Explain. Be, no, because she she uh, um she did it, but then it didn't go anywhere. I mean, but that's what I, but, but that's what, like, we're talking about just the act. We're not talking yeah, about anything beyond but, that. But what, what good is the act if there's no follow through? You're still going to know her. I, I feel, <laughs> yo, I feel like the yo, act yo, is yo, an, ex- yo, 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 I feel yeah, like yeah, the yeah. act is an expression of, you know, the level in which you see this individual, because we understand that we can't, we're not made to be by ourselves. We're, Listen, you know, bro, words without action is just another form of manipulation. Hold on, so you can't still be engaged for it's a certain amount of time you have to be engaged or not be no. engaged? No. Nah, you can be engaged exactly. until you're ready to but you know. This but is this is the thing. That from what he said, from all I heard from, from that statement just now was anyone who makes a proposal and that proposal doesn't get accepted is a dickhead. No, no, not that he didn't didn't he accept it? Yeah. He accepted it. Yeah, but weren't you saying because they, they didn't they didn't get married yet. Well, 
that, that's, that, why that, said, but, that's why I asked my question of is there a time frame that I don't think that's I don't think that's relative to anything other than you know her saying hey I want to be so, with you for the rest yo, bro, of my life. You, 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 listen, you, a you be the first woman, person that said people can change their mind. No, I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm saying that <laughs> if you if you propose to a girl mm-hmm. today, right, clock starts. What clock? Just the clock starts. What clock? Her clock. Her clock. I, That's her, her clock. Her. I yes. think that was. I think that was yes. a very. I think that was very harsh. No, it is. And then I also think. And then I also think. Then you. What about the people who got married and then changed their mind and didn't get married and then got unmarried, uh, divorced? What That's about the process? What about the process? That is fine. What about the process of saying. putting the ceremony together? Because some people may be, you know, and no, what about people, saying, yo, you know what? Maybe months. we should hold off on this. There's what about changing your months. mind about wanting to do it? You said only six months. I'm, there's people who've done that in six, eight months. But there's also people who've done it in I, six years. Yes, that's true. That's, a, that's what I asked. Is there a time for you? That's I'm just saying, I, I she, there she went as far as to put it on television. Yeah, but public. that's the female ego. Right? The that's, female that's ego why is what most men okay. that. She needs right. to, people so, to see. Since, since there's no woman here, you can, guys, we can ask, a, we can all ask a Don't woman see. separately and come back to it, and they'll tell you the same thing. If a dude proposes to him, this is um, June. June 2021, she's going to be expecting a marriage almost either next year or at least within the two years. Yeah, if if it, if it, trying to build towards a, like a house. I, I a understand house that. I understand it. all of that. I understand I all of relative. that. I'm just saying. I think that's relative <laughs> to the yes, woman you I with. I think that's relative to the woman. I agree. What y'all going I agree through, yes. how well of an understanding yes. y'all have, yes. what yes. goals y'all want to achieve before marriage. Right. If y'all because say, yo, we're going to get married, but we have to have this before we yeah, get married, mm-hmm. the both of y'all are in agreement that y'all not getting married until this is completed. Right. I got you. Right. So, so but now it comes down to no matter how long who's going to initiate the, the so whole thing. Yeah, it majority. don't matter how long it takes. Yeah, it matters but how long. I asked you about you right. specifically. So what about your number? Like, what is your number then? If I was to propose, like, if Shorty proposed propose... to you, what is her timetable to get, like, to have the marriage then? Oh, I'm a more sensible person. I'll be like, nah, we like, like you said, get our shit together first, and yeah, then but that shit might take ten years. It might, but that's what but I would that's say. The whole but point. that negates you just what somebody you just a spoke dickhead about. And don't I know said they... me. I'm no, talking no, no, about no, no, women. No, 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 no. You called someone specifically a Christian dickhead. Yeah, yeah, because of that, and you. Literally don't okay. know the situation so now, wait, or, or wait. what they might okay. have in an agreement. So what That's I've what seen, said harsh. so yeah. what I've seen from their situation, they live together, they have homes, they have cars, they have separate um situations where they're successful in life. They may also have other goals. Right. Okay. Chrissy's not a rapper. Oh, so what? That has nothing to do with Jim you. Jones is a rapper. That means that they're it automatically don't matter. It don't matter what the career is, matter. bro. It don't matter what nah, the I'm saying, They like, also have other goals, bro. Right. Yeah. Their goals you know what I'm are not saying? Relative. And yeah. they may also have things or things that they want to happen for themselves yeah. or for each other or all situations. Know, and why know, they may be can taking I, can their I say time, part, bro. Just to piggyback on what they also made it just change their fucking mind. Because Chrissy reached that point where her goals were accomplished, she felt like, listen, I got nothing else to accomplish. I'm ready to be your wife. I, that's she why. was ready way before she asked. But even so, like like you said, there's things that they want to accomplish. Her individually, she may have felt like there's goals that I already done reached. Like the only thing left for me to do is to no. get married. So that's why I think she took the In initiative. In my opinion, she did that because, like I said, she was been ready and she was trying to pressure him into getting married. Because even when you go and look it up and see his face, that nigga was just like, uh, yeah, I got a smile. Yeah, but that's the that's the thing that Reem is talking about because it's such a rarity. Yeah, the person's not gonna be. Huh, oh my god, because it's not right. an everyday occurrence. We're trying to say we want that to be more of an everyday occurrence. Right. So dudes are not in a position looking like weirdos because oh like, like this harsh niggas. Awkward. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's our point. Yeah, it shouldn't but, be like. But that. my thing, even if I'm saying that I don't care for it, if it was to happen unbeknownst to me and it just boom. I'm not going to have her look like a dickhead. In person, I'm going to be happy because I love her. But when we get home, I'm going to be like, yo, you made me feel mad awkward. Like in this situation. But I'm not going to have her looking like, yo, son, Jim was sitting in that couch. He was like, yeah, you know, get ready. He was like, <laughs> like here, it was well, crazy. It wasn't shock. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a shock factor to yo. it. Because it's a, it, you don't see it happen often. Okay. And I personally believe that overall, it should get to a point where I wouldn't say it's the norm, but it shouldn't be frowned upon. It shouldn't be. But you're men the sh- biggest person always pushing about appreciation for men. 
That's that the is true. Yes. That's that's my yeah, point. No, that's, that's my I, point. I, I, I said I'm with uh, it, but like submission. the knee shit. This, this, she that's an ego thing. Yeah, she don't need to get on the knee. Yeah, she don't need to get on the knee though, bro. But you have no problem saying get on your knees for other stuff. Well, I never tell a girl actually, yo, get on your knees. Oh, I have. Yeah, but she's proposing and you ain't tell her. If she's proposing and she gets on the knees, she didn't. You didn't ask her to either. Yeah, that's part of her proposal. You didn't ask her to do that either. Even get on their knees. They do. Some of them, some of them just go. Some of them just go for it. And like I said, if she just goes for it, I'm not gonna make her feel awkward about it. That's the only thing. I would how, never make her feel awkward. How that. I feel about how I feel about it is 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 like this. I feel like people should normalize people professing they love to the people that they love. If you love that person, you tell them you love them. If you want to be with that person, I but, went. But, but it should be it should be according to like you said the person knowing the person. You can show your love, but you got to make sure it's in a way that they'll receive it comfortably. It can't just be all about you. Oh, my love is this big, so I'm going to do it this way. What if they don't like grand motherfucking proposals and grand things like that? How you know you don't like a grand proposal if no one's ever made I think that comes with dating over time. No, I think no, that not, comes with not, dating no, the individual no, no. over I'm time. I'm not saying... I'm not you should saying be able a, to know who you're dating. I'm not saying a wedding proposal. I'm saying, like, granting. There's people who hate surprise parties. Yes. Yeah. Hate yes. them. So now you feel, oh, I'm going to do this for him. I'm going to throw a big surprise party. Nigga walk in and walk right the fuck out. That's harsh. No, there's niggas who really feel anxiety. But you gotta. From but I shit. feel like human nature is to just show appreciation for people who came out for you, regardless of yeah, how you like, feel about it. Like you said, you would you would accept the proposal in front of everybody, but then later on say like, "Yo, this was awkward." I feel like in the moment in time, be appreciative of what's going on, and then later on express it. But don't make anybody else feel awkward for doing something. Out but of now love. when you stuck in the moment, like J- like Jim, he was. St- in that moment there was like because 17 the cameras rarity, on. it could have been a hundred different rarity. reasons he could have been like I didn't want to do this on TV yeah you he know he could have been like yo I wanted to do I had a proposal in my head planned for her yeah. you, you know, it could have been a it, whole bunch of shit I take it I take it a level I take, I take <laughs> it a turn. level deeper no. I take it a level deeper he was never proposed he's a gangster rapper exactly how it look your wife he looked I mean, like your a bitch girlfriend. exactly so gangster. that's no, probably you see what I'm saying it's a, it's a, but it's a part of it bro it's, a, that's what it's, it's, it's an ego thing it's an ego your ego you just called you just said he looked like a bitch having his woman propose to him after you just agreed that you would like that you win it we're talking about Jim Jones. Jones. How does that make you look like a bitch? No. That makes I, you look like a fucking man. Uh, yeah. It's straight uh, out of scene uh, out the uh, mat. Uh, what uh, you talking uh, about? She uh, just chose uh, me, uh, nigga. Uh, what you talking uh, about? How you look like a bitch? Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Since we were still on this conversation about marriages and whatnot, let me ask y'all. Who comes first? Me. Nah. Your mom or your wife? Oh. Mm. My wife. Mm. You gotta understand something. Like, could it be a tie? Nope. It can't. You gotta be. choose. <laughs> That's why you're choosing you your wife choose. is so important because she becomes the de facto mom for you. Think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you would want some of your mother's principles to be placed, like instilled into the your wife, so that way when you have your kids you would want her to instill those same principles. That's why I say de facto in the sense of, like, you would want there to be some type of... No, she's never your mother. You just play? I'm not saying she has to be my mother. I'm talking about just strictly towards my kids. Like, if I feel like my mother is the greatest mom in the world, I would want my wife to have some of those similar traits. Yeah, she can learn that from your mother or from her mother. When some Sometimes there's not the luxury that. of that opportunity of learning traits from your mom to her. So I'm saying, like, off rip, if you're dating someone long term, you would have to, if that's what you want, that's something that you would have to look out for. So basically, if you engage to Shorty and you bring her around your moms, your parents, everybody, yeah. and she just don't like your, your, um, your, she she brings you a sign, like, listen, it's not the girl for you. She's terrible. I don't care about that. Mm, these are tough questions. I don't care me. about that because at the end of the day, even if it's not the girl for me, my mother has the understanding that she knows that I have to go through it regardless. She may give me the heads up, but the heads up isn't a definitive, you know, it, it it's what I say. I'm the one. So if your mom is like, I don't think you smoke crack. Nah, ma, I got to try this crack that's, out myself. That's, that's, it's for me to decide. That's Pause. apples and oranges. Pause. We talking about something. We talking about no, something. That, that crack. We talking about something. Oh, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> we talk about something on a more intimate level where it's from me in that moment and me, the person that's making that final decision. My mom can say she doesn't like mm-hmm. her, but that doesn't mean that she has to necessarily, you know, that, like, I don't think that the parents, like, it would be great if they got the blessing, but I don't think that should deter the situation from happening. I, I agree with you. I'm not going to disagree with you. But for me, it's like, my relationship with my mom is like, damn, that's like my mm-hmm. everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the only kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mom did everything for me under the sun. So for me to, like, now just dub her because some chick come along, if my mom is telling me, like, yo, I noticed some things. My mom isn't going to just say, oh, I just don't like her for no reason. Like, it would have to be true a specific reason. So mm-hmm. my mom is telling me, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of sketchy. <sighs> yo, shorty. Yo, you gotta go. <laughs> you might have to go, man. Shit. Well, those ain't fucking wait, with you. wait, you might not. You might not just step back from it, you, or are you just gonna cut it straight off. Well, I, I mean, well, you, you listen, listen. He said wife. He started with wife. Wife. Like we're yeah. not talking so, about girlfriend. Yeah, we're not talking about girlfriend. Oh, wife. Talking about like, girl just wife. Come she hears the news that you're getting gays, and she's just like, wait. Are you sure? Instead of, oh my gosh. Well, oh, we, we, we're talking about wife, not engaged. We're talking about wife. Yeah. Oh, well, See, yeah, like, if you, you have to if, choose, if, yeah. If, if at that saying, point, if you're saying wife, at that point, you already done locked in the decision. doesn't matter what your parents say. Uh, well, I mean, but I would really. assume if you, if you have a wife at that point, then you done brought her around your parents. All right, let's, oh, yeah. si- let's simplify it. It's yeah. a train no, tracks. It's, Mom it's is on one oh. train tracks. Wife is on the other. Yeah. You can only save one. Which one do you save? Yeah, they, now let's simplify have kids. Mom is on one, That's wife it. is on the other. There is no nothing else to talk about. Oh, oh you mean in the life right <laughs> now? Now he's now he's doing it like straight up. They 50, on the train tracks. You only got time to save one. One. My mom would want me to save my wife. <laughs> my mom no, would want would me to die. save my wife. Yes, yeah, she would because she understands that at the end of the day, that's not like th- 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 that's why I say it's subjective. You not be? It would yeah, be subjective because yes, my mother understands me to the say like, let's say like. At that point in her life, she'd be at peace to say, you know what, I, I seen my son get married. I'm happy for him. I would want him to live a fulfilling life. So so you just going to pick up your wife and then just... <laughs> you going to be good. Nah, I mean, I would try to save my mom if I could, but you said one. Yeah, you I'm only gonna, have time to save one. I would save my wife. I got strong arms, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saving? Well, my wife, I feel like my mom would be at peace with me saving my wife first. I, okay. I, I do feel like in a scenario like that, my mom would want me to choose my wife because right. I feel like my mom feels like her life has been fulfilled right, enough. Right. So in that scenario, then I would probably choose my wife. But if it's like a scenario based on how you put it first, where it's like, hey, I don't I don't think she's the right one for you, then oh, yeah. yeah I think that was too much of a, a situation. Yeah. Like, why at this point now, after you're already married to this yeah, woman, yeah, see, now I, they I got t- beat? See, I took that makes no sense. Yeah, I right. took it as like uh, dating in a dating phase. Still. I wasn't taking it like, this is your wife. Because in my head, I'm like, if that's your wife, she's done been around your mom numerous times. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, even after you got married... And and she didn't see your wife in action, just talking to other people. She could just not like how her well, energy is towards other men. The lot, but, well, that, that's, but, that's, but that's something that's, that's that not, comes that's, over that's, time. Yeah, that's something completely different. Yeah, that, that that's something that's something not only that um, anybody else can't help, but you know, over time, I feel like if that's your mom, she would give you like the clues to say like, hey, listen, I don't know. She ain't just gonna wait until the engagement. I I feel like the engagement part is where it's like you really tell where your mom stands on how that individual feels. Mm. Yeah, my mom would would let she would want that whoever that girl is to die. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's old. Nah, that's, old shit. that's that's my mom. Yeah, yeah I, my I, mom I can't would. see my mom doing that. I'll be honest, especially if she know that this is somebody that I really really like. <laughs> You know, I, like I, I think really, she would. I think she would rather me save the girl. And if there's a chance that I can save her, cool. But she would be at peace at me is saying that. Is there kids that. involved? He might be right though. Cause if yeah, kids if there's kids involved, I'm saving my wife instantly. No, you. you, you know what I'm saying? If there's no kids involved, my mom might be like, yeah. My mom, my mom. <laughs> no. Lo- the logical thing is to save is to save your wife, right? right? Because, like you said, your mother at this point has lived a life. Mm-hmm. This, that, and the third. You locked it. I won. Yeah, lock. Oh. A logical thing is, you know, this is how your family continues. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So if your mother already gave the seal of approval 
And well, 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 well. Because you're already wait, married. Wait, 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 really wait, up wait, to the no, seal of approval. No, 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 we talk no, no. about logic. Hold on, hold on. No, that's not true either. You said this is how your story, your um, family moves on. First off, if you save your mom, you get a new bitch. Your family moves on. That is true. You, you, yeah, but if I have kids, it. or if I feel like this person is the ultimate person I want to have kids with, I'm not about to just sacrifice that. Yeah, but if she has a heart attack tomorrow, it doesn't matter. My mom is more no, no, at risk. Yeah, 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 she's no, more at risk. Right? Hold <laughs> on, hold on. You're saying your mom is actually would actually be at higher more, risk yes, more of at having risk. a heart yes. attack. Wait, yes. that's also not true. Depends that's on how her, she lived her life and how she take care of her body. That's true. Age wise, even I'm, if they both took care of their bodies at the exact same at the exact same level, yeah, your mom would be at higher risk because she's older. Yeah. Just for that's, her being why, older. that's why realistically I would understand my mom saying, Hey, listen, I done lived a good life. I done seen you happy. I'm happy. Save her and fulfill the, the legacy yeah, that you want to fulfill. That's how the DNA strand continues. Yes. So I realistically me saving DNA my me saving strands, my mom is a but selfish you decision. You saving your mate? It's how the DNA strand continues. The, the yeah, mate can be anybody. That, that's, that's his point. <laughs> I understand that, yeah. but, yeah, there's, but a, there's a reason we didn't factor it as in baby mother and we or use girlfriend. A, and we, we use and wife. Because you wife. Yeah. you already, so you already the, the wife, made the decision now to you say already that this put is my that, wife. This is the person that I intend to be with forever. This is the person yeah, I, I intend what, to make. I don't know what society you only, come from, yeah. but I come from ancient Africa where I have multiple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, listen. I feel that. Like, I feel that. No, because the way y'all do it going is like, yo, once you make the wife, that is your DNA. Who related. said that? You led with that, bro. Huh? People forget what they say, bro. <laughs> you said this is the woman that you want to spend the rest of your life yeah. with. That's how you, fra you frame the question, bro. Yeah, because that's the only way you would make it even towards your mom. Because naturally, we would choose our mom. Like, if this is just a regular chick that we're dealing with, oh, what? <laughs> Especially if my mom don't really naturally fuck with her. Yeah, she's a dub. She's getting left on that bridge or wherever, <laughs> wherever we at. But, but you know, I'm going to still feel bad because at the end of the day, if I don't put in like two years of time with this chick, I'm going to try to save her. But if she's not my wife, yeah, I'm naturally now, saving my let mom. Let me reframe the question now. I'm going to change the whole question. Your wife or your kids? Mm. Oh, you gotta save the kids. You gotta, gotta save, save the, kids. the kids. You can have more kids. Nah, you gotta save the kids. Well, one, he might be going to the NBA. You get another girl, right? You gotta yeah. save. <laughs> <laughs> get more kids. No, no, no. See the yeah. difference. The kids so you got to be an NBA star. My wife ain't gonna be no NBA star. Yeah, but now the next one, you could have two tech billionaires. That's a selfish decision to my, save my, my wife. Be that smart. Look, no, yeah, that's I'm gonna keep it above with you. The kids ain't have no. You gotta understand got something. The kids in that scenario, kids, kids oh, in man. general, don't Not, have any choice. I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna show you logic. What the logic say is it make more sense to save the wife versus the child? In the you Bible, save, that's what it says. You though. save the child. What happens now? You got this disadvantaged child who only has one parent. You save the wife. Y'all gonna grieve. Y'all have more kids. Technically, in the Bible, it says and they, you're supposed uh, to save the, in a scenario like that, they say you're supposed to do, cherish the wife before the kids. That's what it says, in, if you're religious. It's kind of strange to me. Because the, cause the thing it's is, strange the, thing, the thing about the kids is, yes, you have them, you see them, it's you not love them. Huh? Yeah, no, oh, yeah, awesome. You have them, you see them, you love them, but you can always make more. <laughs> That is the that is the just it's carnal not a guarantee. No, no. Women giving birth is not first as, off. You know, no. First it's off. not regular as we make it seem. Yes, it is. A, it, they they can die from that. You know, not every I'm woman. I'm the is, one who was telling you that when you were saying you wanted ten kids to one I woman. I still <laughs> want that. I still <laughs> want that. But what I'm saying is, I did my <laughs> research and I understand that that's not something that's so common. So I told you that. I understand that. So <laughs> well, me understand me. I know a few people. I know I, a few people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yo, isn't that funny though? That how the mortality rate and the, the, the amount of kids that we can is have it? is lower now that we have more advanced science. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So me. Yeah. But I think it's based on scenario because how old we talking my kid is that I've got to save. Like, is he in like second, third grade, or is he in like middle school and he like six, seven? He's two. Oh yeah, he gotta go. <laughs> if he like, if he like six, yeah. seven, and he like in fifth grade, oh nah, baby, you gotta go. Like, I gotta say, the kid, he gonna be an NBA star. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I don't nigga ain't know how to talk properly anyway. You just gotta have nah, this I'm saving my the kid. new kid. I'm saving my kid. The new kid's bed. Yeah, ill this nigga. This is your bro. older brother. He gave his life for yeah, you. Yeah, ill nigga. I'm saving my kid. I'm saving my kid. That's so deep. I'm not saying that. Yeah, ill nigga, son. I'm saving my kid. <laughs> No, I'm just saying that's the logic behind the logic well, is you're now, supposed uh, to. We did supposed have to a say good. The, he did the, have the, a good uh, uh, argument though, saying that the kid has got a disadvantage with only one parent. That is, yeah, true. I was right, but you also are chancing it because you don't know. Like we also, if you want to take it that far, we also got to consider what age the woman is at, because she has a time, a ticking clock, and with that, with with with, with inside her to let her know, like, hey, listen, I can't give birth after a certain point. That's so, so like. That also so, so she's devalued because no, her clock is What I'm in? saying that is... That is what he's saying. Yeah, that's what I'm asking him. Like, I would say, say, if, she's she's devalued, devalued, if she's menopausal, you save the kids. Yes, If she's yes, past menopausal, course. you but save the kids. Said, yeah. But that's why I said it's yeah. a scenario based. Because like I said, it is. we're talking about a 6th grade kid who's 6'7", and he's getting scouts coming to look at him, or we're talking about a 2-year-old. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro. First off, Beyonce and Kim had their last babies through other women. They're so also rich. Yeah, but it's like 30 grand to do that. I ain't got that lean I know you don't got it. Yeah. <laughs> Most people don't got it, but still. Got it for Roly though. But it, <laughs> but if it means the difference between my wife surviving um and enjoying more kids, I would rather go that route because I already said it's only two maximum coming out of my woman. The second you one, went? after the second one, nah, her two's I'm getting tired. Like, enough. and it, I would hope she would agree with me because I am terrified of childbirth. Like that shit is fucking scary. I told every woman I've ever been with, listen, don't. Don't think I'm gonna be in that room. Like, yeah, like I don't care to be in that room. That shit is OD, you be in bro. Room? I will be until my conscience allows me to. <laughs> uh, I've I seen, think I've I seen think, a bunch of kids get bored. I th- I think childbirth is fucking gross. I've been on the record letting every woman I've been in contact with let them know like yo listen. In the event like yo, if I pass out, just push until I come to. You know what I'm saying? So for me personally, like I would. I, I would feel so shitty if I missed it for any other reason than, you know, me being physically unable to do it. You know, that that that's just a personal thing. But overall, like, I would be there. If I pass out, then, hey, she can't help that. <laughs> so, me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, son, but you still an ill nigga, son. You know, let your <laughs> wife die. And these little... Wife die? I mean, because you said you would choose your um kids over your wife. If I feel like she can't reproduce, she gonna have to understand that. Yeah, you're an ill nigga for saying that, son. <laughs> that's, that's, you, well, that's part of the decision. The, yeah, you like you know, like, it real. <laughs> I get it. That's like part she of the gonna, decision. I, I, I hear. I hear what she you're would. Saying. My wife. It would be a. It your would, wife would be fed with you. How about she leave your ass now because you let the kids die? Yes, she would <laughs> want. It's if, a double edged sword. Yeah, if a, she a, don't want, if she don't want to stay behind and say, "Hey, take care of the kids," she's not my wife. Ooh, bars. She's not my wife because at the end of the day, I'm not having kids just to have them. That's something that my wife would already understand. Because if I can't have ten and she only gave me three, guess what? I'm gonna take these three. I'm not gonna be on some asshole shit like, hey, have a nice afterlife. No, I'm not gonna do it like that. But she would understand more so than anything the legacy that she wanted to take part in. She would want to be in, be a part of. Yeah, he would. (laughs) It's my fault. Yeah. So when it comes to vacations, I'm. I'm seeing. I'm feeling different vibes from different, different angles about if men and women can go out on vacations with their friends of the same sex. So, like, would you guys have a problem if your girl was going, like, say, it's two of her or three of her friends and four of their guy friends? I met all of them. No, these guy friends just came out of nowhere. No, they've been around. You just never met them. Never met them. Mm. I would let her go. If they, if I if I know a name, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I feel like she had to. Have if they just came out of before. nowhere, like they, it has to be a name that I've heard for at least four or five months. Um, so basically, you guys are saying as long as you met one or you know one name, you're cool. Nah, I need to know names. Up, you said names. four, correct? It's four guys. Yes, three girls. Yeah, I need to know at least all. I've, at least hear the guys' names in transition from yeah. like, the time we were talking this about. This can't be oh, no... Trevor, is Trevor so funny? Or uh, okay. Terrence? And I need to know names. So, all right. It's I'm a not any, any name. Is it a vacation? Yes, it's a vacation. Okay, so it's not work. No. All right. So why I can't go? 
Why, why you would you want to go? Yeah, yeah like, like why would you? Said it was, she, she's she going with her friends. Her friends, there's girls and there's. But guys. you would want to so go on every trip. She wants to go with her friends. None of them are bringing their significant others. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Why would you want to volunteer to go? Think there? about it, bro. It's a different. No, rest- that sounds good when it's all women, right? And it's a girls' trip. I get what he's or saying. When it's all guys, and it's a guys trip but when you're saying there are going to be other men there as well why can't i go so you think because when they may have my fault they may be a group of friends prior to meeting you they from high them. school yeah. college like i known i met groups of women and guys together at one time and we were like one group of people of mm-hmm. friends. you know what i'm saying so that can happen when you go on a trip an all guys trip you link with groups of women don't you don't you sometimes you aim to though do I aim to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you don't aim to meet up with groups of women, which are groups of men, when you go out on vacation. Aim to a aim. Is a, is a, is a, aim. The the the. Listen, listen, hold, the, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta come to the defense of my friend. Listen, listen first I, off, I'm not in a relationship. Not in a relationship. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm so for, I, I could do whatever but I want. Why are you sweating? No, yeah. no, 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 I'm not because that's that's he's a specific trying, what, he's, type what he's doing of, is he's gonna ask me, take my answer. And then you got to understand now, anybody watching is going to be like, that's what all men are yeah, doing. Yeah. And every time nah, they go on vacation I together, say and that's not that. the truth. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that wouldn't be the truth. That. So I'm going to I'm going to put it out. There. I'm going to stop and not let you say that. No, it's not necessarily something I'm aiming for. Yes, on certain trips that it does be my aim on certain trips, but not all the time. Because yeah, men are capable individual. of wanting to go places as a group. And just hang out and chill and have a good time, bro. You're a single individual, but when you're hanging out with people that have relationships now, it's a different type of time. Yeah. <clears throat> Bullshit. Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, men go out. When men go, even if they're not going to have just sex with women. Just know y'all girls women, not letting y'all go anywhere with him. <laughs> <laughs> anytime girls go out or guys go out because women because women because women because women because women, women go and when they go out yes they spend their majority of time with All themselves women? let me finish they go out who turns it they're enjoying themselves they're having a good time Yes, they're going to want some male energy around it doesn't mean that they're going to be on top of them they're going to be with them none of that it's the same both ways so when i say dudes aim Okay, if it's five people with Jaya, even if Jaya's just chilling, somebody's gonna say, "Where the bitches at?" <laughs> wow, <laughs> niggas. Who yeah, 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 oh, yeah, I think that's what? relative to the people he hang out with. Man, right. hey, like I don't. God I don't, bless. I disagree because God that's, bless. That's, that that's, that was wild. Just <laughs> mental, bro. God oh, bless. Dude. Whose turn is it? Who's it's, it's your, your turn. turn. It's your turn. Uh, I that would disagree. Shit was wild I disagree with what you bro. Because that, the, I don't think he hangs out with people like that. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he hangs out with people like that. What I would not say, solely with people yeah, like, like that. I can solely. Dip, yeah, no. like O D. Because he hangs out with me, and I'm not asking where the bitches is at. And he hangs out with P. P not asking where the bitches is at. I have no so comment. it's subjective. No, but he, but he I have no comment. Group. He said a group. And then a group. He said at least one. He said a group. A group of what? All right, but, but I that, said five niggas. Said five. All right. Out of five right, niggas, though, one is going to say not, where the bitches that, at? That's not reflective it depends, of him, It though. depends on who's there, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the energy. Yo, You're wilding, bro. I'm not wilding about if nothing. If they're all single, why would I want to not know where the bitches is at? All right, look, look, look. Watch this, watch this. You, 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 and Josh. Who's asking where the bitches at? You. That's five niggas. You. Me? And oh, I'm no. the one that's... And him. I'm the one that's singing. When have I ever asked where the bitches is at? But All right, we so don't that, care so now, now where the your bitches own. is at. No, no, so now prove your point. So now prove your point. So now put, prove your point. Me. You in it. Maybe you, All right, you so now you prove... that's his point. That's my point. All right. You just made. You just said it. I know five niggas. I just gave five niggas that we all know each other. Oh, you talking about? I just going yeah, I just gave five, five niggas. niggas. That's no. five niggas. I said I have no comment because niggas got girlfriends. I'm not saying anything. What? That's it. Nigga, do you think we asked for lot. bitches when we have girlfriends? You just said <laughs> a lot. <laughs> he just said a lot. <laughs> yeah, like wait, who wait, goes no. with it, bro? <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm not I asking for bitches it's on when you, I'm man. on vacation with my niggas. I, okay. I, it depends on 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 the the context I, of the vacation. No, who's bro. There, bro. Listen, if you, I'm going with people that are in a relationship, no, that is not the aim. If I'm going yeah. somewhere and it's all my single friends and we going somewhere, yeah, that that's a relative question. The, 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 but the, I never, aim, yes. I never, I never put it under those t- 
two specific umbrellas. No, you said you did. That was he the said point. Five niggas. That was the point. That's why you he made named a five general niggas. statement and you made it seem like it was an absolute statement. All right. <laughs> That's why he named five diggers. God bless. <laughs> Josh is married. We're in relationships. God and it's bless. You. you said you wouldn't ask for the bitches. God we not even bless. thinking about the bitches. That's five niggas right there. God bless. <laughs> That's all I said. I've, there's been scenarios where you can be on you, like bro. on vacation without having to think, oh, where the women are at. You yeah. Like, Why can't that be a thing? Yeah, places where you don't even got to think about where they at. Why can't that be a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can you... <laughs> Yo, this guy. Bro. <laughs> Thank God for edits. I just yeah. repeated what you said, bro. I just repeated what you said. It's your turn, Pete. But I just said like you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so ha- will there ever be a scenario though where you think that it would be cool if your girl went out with a group of friends who were the opposite sex on vacation? It was like a group thing. It wasn't yeah. like she was the only girl. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I'm. I'm not her dad, bro. That's double. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think there's like a level to it? Like the amount of time she's doing it? Like she goes on vacation I, two, I three think, times out the year, and she goes with, on vacation with them like six, three times out of the year too. Like you think I, that's too I, much? I think the nah, the absolute regular. nature of it, like it would have to be something where it's like it's business related, or like she's getting something from it. Because at that point, I would much mentally, I'd feel her feel much more comfortable with her going by herself versus that being the element there. What? Herself. You're crazy. You're because, well, no, 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 wait, 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 talk about, hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, because the object of a vacation is to get a break from wherever you're at. I feel like the element of guys now, it plays into the part where I don't want to come off as insecure, but it comes to, to conversation where it's just like, why would you want to go on a vacation with guys and not even bring the vacation idea up to me? That's how I would look at it. Well, that's what was what, what I led with when I asked, well, right. why why right. can't I come? Not saying that I want to come, but, but why is there, there no option for me to come if it's a time, mix of genders? At gender. the same time. It's, and vice versa, it could be when she said, well, when you went on your trip with your friends the other the other month, I didn't ask to come with yeah. you. It's your friends. Yeah, well, you see that question? I didn't ask. If the offer was made, then it doesn't matter if you asked to. If the offer was made, yeah, the door was open. The offer, though? Cause this, that's you tell me that's, every, that would be different. So that would be different. Situ- that would be parallel. So, uh, so I'm asking you now. Every relationship or situation that you've been in serious relationships with a woman, you've asked her, "Hey, you want to come out hang out with me and my friends?" Before yeah. you hung out with your friends on a vacation. Yeah. yeah. Better yet, no, 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 no. Better yet, on a guy's trip, you would let your girl know you're going on a guy's trip. Yeah. Why? But what if she says, "Hey, I want to come along now"? I would tell her that. If it's if it's that type of guy trip, if it's that type of guy, well, trip, what do you that mean type that type of guy, type of guy oh, trip? Oh, oh, That's oh, what we're getting oh, at. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I know that my girlfriend be in there, right, is and this is a little bit different because the first one we talked about was a co-ed trip. This is we talking about a guy's trip now, right? So now it's a guy's trip, and she wants to come on a guy's trip. I have to see how the other guys feel about what's go- no, it's just that. how the other guys are gonna feel about her being there. You wouldn't know until she actually introduced you to each individual. That's why we were saying, like, we got to hear at least a name to say, like, oh. No, I'd ask, I'm, I'm, I'd ask them, like, yo, how y'all feel about if my shorty come? Who you asking? The other the niggas that's going to be there. And then now it's not a guy See, to trip. me, that's bullshit. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he's not going to ask. Yeah, he's not going back to ask. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, if we talk about weeds, weeds not I am, asking. I am asking. Weeds not asking. But I'm asking. So I am so asking. So because niggas have done that to me, and I'm like, yeah, can I, can I get the weeds answer? Here's what I think weeds will do. He'll find some way to get her out there as, like, on some, like, yo, if I'm chilling with the guys and I get too buzzed, I'm going to link her as, a as like, a, hey, Fuck it. I'm with her. I'm a link her type shit. I don't see you saying, nah, she can't come. You could say, you could be out there, but to say that you can't I come. No, Jahai is not putting it on. It. It's Jahai, no, no, I'm saying, I don't know. Jahai is not putting it on himself. Yeah. Like he said, he's going to ask y'all and make y'all the bearer of bad news, not him. <laughs> he's going to say, yo, I, I asked the guys, and they said... I disagree with that, too. I feel like he's going to manipulate the situation. You really want to oh. be out there with a whole bunch of niggas? Like, <laughs> he's going to make the girl think she's crazy for wanting to go on a trip. <laughs> but that's why I said, keep it in the frame of a co-ed trip. If it's a co-ed trip yeah. and there's guys and girls there, I would offer. I'd say, oh, oh yeah, you want to come different. because yeah. it's a co-ed trip. 
You know what I'm saying? But if you're saying it's strictly a guy's trip, like, yeah, I could be at a co-ed trip. Like you said, and she doesn't know the yeah. girls. But I didn't, I'd, I would prefer to come. But now if we're talking about it's a guy's trip, I have to ask the guys. Because if they are planned it as a guy's trip, it'd be fucked up for me to turn around and ruin yeah, that Yeah, and not element. just tell Without us Without saying advance. nothing to yeah, y'all. Yeah. You feel but me? that goes both ways. If she's going with her, it's one, her, yeah. and four, and three other guys, and those are her friends, yeah, but you're ruining it. She'll be like, why can't I come? Yeah, I why the fuck a... would she be going on a guy's trip? Wait, wait, no, hold no, no, on. No, no, hold no. On. We're talking about the original question. He's the right. original no. question is if it's a co-ed. we're a unit, if it's a co-ed unit of friends, we're all base level of friends. Mm-hmm. We're going to go hang out somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like you said, none, no one is asking their significant others to come on the trip because it's going to ruin the chemistry of the original group of the friends. That is what he's saying. I'd yeah. be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, yeah. Going. I would be. I would be fine with that. But I gotta at least have some familiarity with the friends. That sounds yeah, yeah, nuts. That's it. Yeah, that like, that I, can't, nuts. I can't. She can't just that tell me she nuts. met this nigga two weeks ago and now I'm going on vacation. That sounds like, nuts. That sounds like y'all going somewhere with y'all side niggas. Yeah, that's how that sounds to me. Hello, what? That sounds nuts. That sounds like y'all going somewhere with your side niggas. With a group of friends? So yeah. her it, friends cannot be sound. the opposite sex then. That's yeah, what you're that's, saying. Yeah. No. I, what I'm I saying, saying is, saying, like, if it could you be... have a partner, it's your turn, please, if you have a partner and you have friends, right, that you that you saying are the same or the, or the, or the opposite sex, you have friends of the opposite sex, right, mm-hmm. and you have a partner, right, and you're going to go away with your op- your friends of the opposite sex are going to be present, right? And you saying, nah, you can't come because you're going to ruin the chemistry. That sounds fucking nuts. No, I never said that's the reason she's going to tell you. That's not the reason she's going to tell you. But I'm saying, no, no. <laughs> just I'm, just that's saying. not the reason she's going to tell you. It's kind of the same reason of why the girl can't come to a guy's trip. He's saying it should be the, base, the same thing for both. Same that's thing. what he's trying to say. Yeah, but I did say that. And then y'all challenged my, and y'all asked me, but then when y'all framed the question that y'all asked me, y'all said it was a guy's trip. Y'all changed the, the scenario when y'all asked me. We said guy's trip only because it would it would change the dynamic if it's like co-ed. But that's like what this, I said. If, this... if it was a co-ed trip, I'd offer for her to come. But that's what I'm saying. That was my answer. So now in response to that would be my answer, I'm going to expect, why the hell are you telling me I cannot come? Because she's trying to fuck niggas. Okay, well, <laughs> Yeah, she trying to fuck win. niggas. I can't win. He got the double six. <laughs> <laughs> so who turn is it? Me? It's on you. I'm just waiting for you to not. Oh, that's so fine. That's fine. I went on both sides. Yeah, see, I can't win. Me. And I went to one. We all had doubles. Yeah. Damn. See, I played that masterfully as usual. <laughs> we all <laughs> here sitting talking, talking about masterfully. All right, come on, How much man. Yo, Pete. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so, so we're going to wrap this up with... A segment of what did you learn today? We're gonna start with Reem. What you learned today, Reem? I learned that vacations can be very sensitive. <laughs> uh, I am fortunate enough to, if she can watch this, the lady that I'm dealing with is fortunate enough to understand that when I want my solo trips, she understands that from a personal perspective, what she sees that I deal with on a personal level, when I say, yo, I want to be out, have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, she doesn't even want me to tell her I'm leaving. So, I'm fortunate enough to... Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, boo. <laughs> Did not deliver. Huh? No, no, no. I, I, I can give a heads up, but I can't just, you know, vanish. Oh, I can say, okay. like, hey, you know, listen, I'm going to blah, blah, blah. Have fun. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's more so a personal thing because I want to remain the person that she's attracted to. Yeah. So... That's what I learned. That vacations are personal, but I'm glad that I'm also able to vocalize how I view them. So, because if you, I if I'd have came to anybody else that I was dating with this nonsense, it'd have been on some like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I learned. So what's going on with you, Weez? What you learned today, man? Hmm. I learned a few things today, but <laughs> um, I just want to say that I learned um that shit. Like, I learned that sometimes. It might be more beneficial to save the child than <laughs> the wife. If he's six, seven in the sixth grade. No, if she's if she's menopausal. And that too. <sighs> yeah, it's crazy. That's the hill that um, I'm dying on. <laughs> no, it makes it makes sense. If she's That's the hill that I'm dying on. Like, listen, at, 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 we'll talk about that in the next episode. <laughs> Call me what you learned today. I learned that niggas don't want to be around women on vacation. <laughs> Um, what? I learned. Whoa, whoa. I learned. Whoa. That's, that's, that's what I learned. Um, nah, spin nah, doctor. Nah, yeah, that's yeah. not spin doctor. Nah. Spin doctor. <laughs> spin that's doctor. what I learned. 
Listen, what you I'm should have learned was that don't niggas don't necessarily. Get out of my segment. Get out of my segment. That's what he learned. Well, y'all niggas get in my segment. Propaganda. Leave my reality to me. That's what he learned. Yeah, yeah, it's what I learned. So y'all can say what y'all learned. I didn't say anything about what y'all learned. You're not going to spit my words. You're not going to spit my words either, bro. That's fine. I didn't spit anything. Anyway, what did you learn? Yeah, I, what I just said previously that caused an uproar. <laughs> um, I learned that, you know what I mean? This nigga's crazy. <laughs> uh, women have expiration dates. Oh. and um, It's true, though. That's the Kevin Samuels uh, <laughs> versus uh, book one. Yeah. First Samuel. Uh, yeah, they, <laughs> they, they, they're they losing their worth, so they're, they're not worth the trouble. Um, I didn't say and that. These <laughs> are not the music to read, <laughs> Woods. And then I, I, yeah. I said that menopause makes them have a time and within themselves as which they can reproduce. That's all I'm saying. It's a natural thing. I'm not saying anything else, but Kevin if you Samuel want, you can value. replay this mm-hmm. and re, no, no, you know, I'm, look no, at I'm, anything. Kevin Sammy says it's their sex market value. I, I wouldn't call it that either, but I would just say like, <sighs> after a certain point, That's what it is, they can't though. reproduce. That's just nature. That's what That's I'm what saying. Exactly why it's called I ain't gonna call it that, but I'm saying y'all can't reproduce after 50. <laughs> Go yeah, and um, I had a lo- another part, but I, I I'm not even remember. So you got it. <laughs> um, what I learned today is that I learned that Jahia can't have a group of five friends that go on a trip without asking, "Yo, where the bitches at?" <laughs> you learned that? That's what he I learned. Thought I, did, I thought I just proved that. That's what he that. learned. That's I thought I learned. just proved that. I just named <laughs> five niggas. That, 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 that's not the case. What he learned. I learned that Jeff is mad judgmental, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I learned. That's what I learned. <laughs> Yo, alright, man. We out till the next episode, man.